What's up guys, it's Rip City Rundown and we are back with another video. As you saw by the title today, we are going to be reacting to Damian Lillard's recent interview where he talked about a lot of things. He talked about how he wants to stay in Portland. He talked about some guys he wants to play with and talked about just his mindset going into this season. So we're going to focus on those guys that he wants to play with. There's three specific guys he mentions and I thought all three of them were very, very interesting. Before we get into the video, I want to talk about the shirt I'm wearing right now. I'm going to go ahead and stand up, let you guys see it. This is officially one shirt that will be a part of the Rip City Rundown collection. Our hats have come in as well, simple trucker hats with the Rip City Rundown logo on it. I like them a lot. High quality. The material is amazing. I'm really happy with how it came out. And it's the Bad Shot shirt. We went with the Wave instead, and I think it's pretty dope. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. That is coming out in October. Follow our social medias below so you don't miss out on any of the news. So we're going to jump into this video. Damian Lillard was asked the question, who do you want to play with? Like, who are some guys you want to play with in Portland? Now, obviously, he could have said Giannis and LeBron and Kawhi, because those guys obviously would fit Dame perfectly, but he's not going to go with that. He actually went with three guys that realistically, at some point in their career, could find themselves on the Blazers. So the first guy we're going to talk about is Mikael Bridges. He said he would want to play with Mikael Bridges. And that makes sense because who wouldn't want to play with Mikael Bridges? He averaged 14 points, four rebounds, two and a half assists, shot 53% from the field, 37% from three this season. He even shot 42% from three last season. But he's also a top three defensive player of the year candidate, really year in and year out now. He's probably one of the best wing defenders in the NBA. You look at the best guard defenders, you got Marcus Smart and Drew Holiday, the wing defenders. It's really Mikhail Bridges, Kawhi when he's healthy. And then at the center position, you got your Rudy Gobert, Robert Williams, Bam Adebayo. But he's one of the most premier wing defenders in the league, so it doesn't shock me at all that Dame wants to play with him. Now, an interesting thing about Mikhail Bridges is him and Dame kind of have a relationship stemming back to this summer. Just a couple weeks ago, he was a counselor at his Formula Zero camp in Portland, and he also trains with Phil Breckner who's Dame's trainer. So they have that connection there. Is there any way that the Blazers could try to find Mikhail Bridges on this team? I don't see any scenario when that happens. The Suns covet their assets a lot, and he's more than an asset at this point. He is a true part of a championship contender. He's a championship piece. It would cost so much to go after him. Maybe after this year, Chris Paul is you know, declining. Devin Booker is the centerpiece of the Suns. DeAndre Ayton's a little unhappy. Maybe they move off of some guys, go into a rebuild. Who knows? You know how quickly these rebuilds can come. But I thought that was interesting that he was interested in playing with Mikael Bridges because personally, I would love to have him on the Blazers. The second guy he talked about is OG Ananobi. OG last year averaged 17 points, 5.5 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 44% from the field, and 56%, or excuse me, 36% from three. And once again, he is a guy, his calling card is his defense, his versatility, his versatility on defense. He is one of the also very good perimeter wing defenders in the league. He's not on the Mikhail Bridges tier, but he's on the tier under that where he is going to be a guy that is going to possibly vie for all NBA spots in his career. He's never got one, but he's always been in the conversation. And he's one of the best 3 and D defenders and shooters in the NBA. And the reason this one caught the eye of many Blazer fans is because there were tons of rumors going into the draft and on draft night, that the Blazers were interested in OG Ananobi and were trying to work a trade for him. Obviously, Masai Ujiri, the GM for the Raptors, is very stingy with his players, similar to Danny Ainge, where he is going to get the most value out of his players that he can. I mean, he traded DeMar DeRozan and Jaco Podol for Kawhi Leonard. I think that's all you need to know. He knows how to get trades done. But, obviously, if Dame wants to play with a guy like that, you would have hoped that the Blazers made the trade for him. Obviously, it would have been a huge asking price. It probably would have been a Shaden Sharp, who obviously was the seventh overall pick, and then even like a Nasir Little, Josh Hart, or something like that. You know, they asked for a lot. I'm not sure if the value would have been there, but personally, I would love to have OG on the team. And this is the most realistic one, or maybe the second most realistic one, depending on how you look at the third player we are getting ready to talk about. But OG, a guy that is going to bring it us all on defense. Again, there's a theme with these guys. They can hit the three, and they can play some defense. That theme does not, however, translate to the final guy we'll talk about. Is he doesn't really bring much of the three, but he brings the defense. And the final guy Dame said he wants to play with is Jared Vanderbilt, 
who is a guy that I personally have had made a video about. I know some rumors have been swirling about him now that the Jazz are in their full rebuild. Obviously, he was on the Timberwolves, a part of that Utah Jazz and Timberwolves trade for Rudy Gobert. But he is a guy that it would just be a perfect pick-and-roll partner for Damian Lillard, a perfect backup five, could slide in to start at the four, even start at the five despite his undersizedness. Undersizedness, I don't even know if that's a word. But he's 6'9", 214 pounds, so he's on the thinner side. But he averaged seven points, eight rebounds, despite playing next to Cat last year. He was a very efficient scorer at 58, pushing 59%. Obviously, doesn't shoot the three at all, but his value comes on the boards and defensively. I thought it was interesting why Damian Lillard would want to play with him. You know, he would be a good pick-and-roll partner, but other than that, he's not really complimenting Dame perfectly. He just would fit with the Blazers. And that's why I feel like when Dame says these guys, it's not actually who he would want to play with because he obviously would want to play with the best players possible, and he would probably want to play with Draymond Green, who he had, has had a friendship with in the past, and guys of that sort. I think he's saying... These are guys that he wants the Blazers should go after. You know, Mikel Bridges, OG Ananobi would be perfect 3 and D wings to slide in right at that three. And Jared Vanderbilt would be the perfect player to have on the bench right now as a backup four or five. He would really round out that bench this year. That's why we've talked about wanting to trade for him recently. So I feel like that's what Damian Lillard's doing. He's kind of doing the LeBron thing where he's kind of like hinting at the GM, you know, a little not Le GM, a little Dame GM. That doesn't flow off the tongue as much. But... I just thought it was interesting that he included Jared Vanderbilt, too, with all the rumors going on around him and if he's going to stay in Utah or not. So of those three, personally, Mikel Bridges would obviously be the perfect fit, but I think OG Ananobi would be the most realistic guy that the Blazers could actually go after, then Jared Vanderbilt, then Mikel Bridges. All three would fit perfectly with, perfectly with the Blazers. But again, very interesting to hear Dame's perspective on what he wants in his team and his teammates. In that interview, we also talked about how he's just he's staying loyal to Portland no matter what. He said he would never want to, I don't know what he said, he beat the drum of uh, another team or something like that. Uh, let me pull up the coin now. He said, I'm never going to be marching for the beat of a, in nobody else's drum. And he also said, I feel like we'll have a chance to win. I feel like that moment is going to come, and that's that. So again, I don't know how many times he has to do this, but he's pledging his loyalty to Portland. And again, anytime he does that, it's a day to rejoice in Portland because personally I feel like we don't deserve him with the moves we've made around him throughout his career that's gonna do it for the video guys I hope you enjoyed it comment down below which of those three players you would want the Blazers to go after the most and who would fit with Dame the most so again the shirts the bad shot shirt is in we're officially having that in I'm not gonna drop until October the Rip City rundown hat as well is in not dropping until October but I know you guys would enjoy it. I personally think this shirt is dope. The Rip City Rundown main shirt, the black with the logo, is coming in shortly. And I hope you guys saw the back when I showed you the 37 feet. That's just cool. Come on now. It's a, it's a really cool shirt. I would buy it if I wasn't selling it, but I'm selling it and I already have it. So I hope you guys look into the merch or are interested in buying it. It's not going to be too expensive. Prices will come out with prices shortly. But... That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.